you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I'm positive. I'm not. 
but we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Then I'm not talking to you. Well, I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Do something. You stare at the princess, squinting fiercely. She squints back. The two of you are going to do this forever, aren't you? You'll have to blink eventually. Just make a choice. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. You don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. But it turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us. To death. Calm down, I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. He couldn't be more on the money, but we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time, but we know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right.
that's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. I care about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else could he be hiding from us? I'm not lying to you, I promise. There isn't a mirror. Really. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. Are we really doing this without a weapon? You know she has one, right? Once again, I'd like to remind you that she's unarmed. But you're right, this would be a lot easier if you had the blade. I hope you know what you're doing. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Exactly. She sounds threatening because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? What? No! No! I wouldn't stab you! I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to... not stabbing distance to help me. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who has the capacity to quickly arm himself? You do. So stop second guessing yourself, go upstairs, take the blade and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Yes! Yes, of course! Haven't you seen that I've only been nice to you since you got here? Has she? Her words have been fine, but her general attitude's been weird and extremely suspicious. And I think that's what really counts. This shouldn't even be a question. She absolutely has not been nice to you. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. 
You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle, we don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh I'm sorry, do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine, and we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. But I'm not mad at you, so please stop standing so far out of reach. I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. All sorts of things, which is why I think that's a great idea. I would love to not be chained up down here. Being chained up is so boring, and I crave fresh and new activities to broaden my horizons. Please don't let her out of here. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually with him on this. Okay, but what if all of this is just a misunderstanding? There has to be room for this to be a misunderstanding. Yes! I mean, maybe. I've never done any of those things, but there is something alluring about the sound of it. I think it would also be fun to do other activities like look at a bird or touch a tree. Okay, now listen. You're not actually buying this, are you? Listen. Yes, I would like to look at a bird. You can look at a bird later, but if we look at a bird now, we wouldn't have to be here. He has a point. Just make a decision already! But if we killed each other, then why are we here, right now? Both of us normal and unstabbed. I do have to hand it to her, that's a very good question. And it's one with a simple answer. You haven't slain her yet. So how about you get moving? Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that loop back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't harmed. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her hand. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have! It's practically zero! I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait! That sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. 
She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. I won't. Against your better judgement, you walk across the room to within arm's reach of the princess. I don't like the way you said, within arm's reach. You hear the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Whose meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. Then yours. Your neck, specifically. Again? Really? <laughs> you collapse to the ground, your vision swimming as you attempt to focus on her bloody blade and the limp sack of flesh that was once her arm. You're going to die now. And with a quick jerk of her elbow, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. You're what? Yeah, I feel dizzy. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. Who cares about cards? You're all acting like this is about winning and losing, while this is actually about having fun. Is this fun for you? It's not fun for me. I don't like being sliced to pieces. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realise that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility! I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched, we take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then, we throw it out the window! What? That blade is the only edge we have, we are not! Too late, because we already did it, didn't we? Fortunately for the rest of you, for me, and for the sake of the world, yes. That is horribly unfair. He shouldn't be allowed to just do things like that. You were the one who made us pick it up. See? You're not the only one who can figure out how to do things. What's done is done. I suggest you make the best of it. You're all so mad at each other. I'm just going to sit here quietly in the corner. You can be the ones to figure out what to do. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Oh. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. 
I can't say I was particularly invested in looking at it before, but now, now I really want to see what's in it. If it's so keen on hiding from us, whatever it has must be real good. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. As your body tumbles onto the basement landing, the form of the princess comes into view, Riley smiling at you from a distance. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. And you still don't have a weapon? That's funny! That's a joke! I'm going to kill you now! Yes, that was extremely silly of whoever did that. Probably a bad idea. That was you! I know, I'm just trying to add some levity to this. Well, since all of this was your idea, how about you figure out how to get us out of it? Oh, guys like us don't get to make any decisions. You should know that. I decided to pick up that blade and you decided to throw it out the window. This is why we've already lost. Can't even stop bickering with ourselves. How are we supposed to beat her without a weapon? Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Alright, I'm out of ideas. What are we doing? That is an interesting move. Interesting? It's disgusting. No, don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? Of course we do. I'm into it. The one making the decisions is into it. Are you not? I, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I could go either way, honestly. She doesn't want us. You're just saying that because you want her to be into you. I know. I thought I was being obvious. A rosy blush flushes in the princess's cheeks, and a wide grin cuts across her face. You're sweet. I like you too. You're probably my favorite person other than me. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? Still gonna kill you, though. Or not. At least she likes us. I've never been liked before. Blood still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you and skewers you. Ow. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? What matters is that she likes us. She's even said as much. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Nah, we'd know if we died. Right? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't actually know how to answer that question. I think he means how many times have we died. Yes, that. Oh, I've lost count, to be honest. I haven't. It's four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stay. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. We'll win her heart eventually. Come on, show me something new. To 
Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. She skewers you. What's the point of avoiding me if you're not going to fight? Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skewers you. More noise isn't helping. It's just making it harder to focus. Just panic! Flee! She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. We don't even have a weapon. Yeah, some clod threw it out the window. Again, that was you. No, I was just the clod who suggested it. And if I knew we'd be stuck here forever, I wouldn't have done that. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. See? We lasted a little longer. Barely. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. She skewers you. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. Fine. One last time. None of this is working. Think. Think. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark, and you die. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. No steel claw, though. Was tossing it the only thing we've done that was permanent? That's a sick joke, universe. A sick, sick joke. If it's gone for good, then maybe we never actually needed it. That's what I've been telling you all. We can do this without it. We're tougher than steel. Yeah, mind over matter. Who needs violence when you have love? Who needs love when you've mastered yourself? Who needs anything? and we don't matter. Well, boys, are we ready? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care, just want to see how this ends. Fine, you make your way to the basement where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, D do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. 
she becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yes, behold, the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. I'd say we bow down to her right now if that has ever even slightly worked for us. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. What just happened? It's so quiet. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. This worked before. I was able to make you dead before. to me and I've done so much to you and that's who we are but it's like you're nothing now you can't be nothing if you're nothing then what am I am I nothing too no I'm the one who hurts you This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. We will know when we near our destination. be here when it is time for us to meet again.